So I, I really want to make it very clear. This video is not for you if you understood the last few videos in fluid mechanics. This video would not give you any new material at all. Really what I want to do is often students wonder about uh, these two rules or these two theories colliding with one another and kind of not making sense. So this video is just to make you understand the why these two things may say something different. And maybe if you even haven't found the problem here, maybe if you haven't found the problem here, you don't really need to look at this video, but maybe it would be interesting for you to understand. And I'm going to make it simple and explain what the different problems or the one problem may be. And uh, this is something that uh, is just logical. So maybe you found it, maybe you didn't, maybe you don't care. So uh, if you don't, let's let's see what we mean. And this is the, the drawing from Bernoulli's principle dealing with ideal fluids and laminar flow. And this really means that the pressure here is equal to the pressure here. It's incompressible, blah, blah, blah. And this is really nothing new. But let's consider what is going on with velocity, with the pressure and the radius. Let's see what's going on. Well, here we know that the the velocity is faster. Velocity here is greater, so the pressure is lower. We already know this. And here, because, because the velocity goes down, the pressure goes up. Velocity here goes done, down, the pressure goes up. And if you're wondering why, well, because we have the same amount of volumetric flow rate or the same amount of fluid flowing here, here is going to flow very fast, and maybe here is going to slow down because, because it fans out, because it fans out. So it's going to slow down. If it slows down, we know the pressure is going up. Now let's consider what is, going to, what, what is happening to the radius here. Here the radius is fairly, fairly small, and here the radius is fairly high. So here we can see that if we have fast-flowing fluid here and slow-flowing fluid here, and again, this is because this opening is small and this opening is larger, so it fans out, so it's going to slow down. And we know that if we have, <clears throat> if we have a radius go up, there's a pressure increase. And if you compare it to the hagen poiseuille law, the hagen poiseuille law says that when the radius goes up, the pressure would go down. And if we compare it to our blood vessels, if this is a, this is a very, uh, this, is, this has a very, very quick flow in it, the radius, the radius is small, the velocity is quick, the pressure is going to be higher. And maybe when I fan out and my cross section increases, my radius goes up, my pressure would come down. And compare this to this for a second, and you'll see that something, something very, very vital here is colliding. There's something really weird going on, and the answer is this. The hagen poiseuille law is talking about real fluids, and the Bernoulli's principle is talking about ideal fluids. And if you're wondering, is this enough to cause such a dramatic di difference? Yes, it is. And this is the whole idea. This is why these collide. And maybe you haven't even thought about it, but it's something to think about. And really, ideal fluids is not what is going on. And Bernoulli's principle, even though they say, oh, planes really work on that principle, it's incorrect. Planes work on many principles. Bernoulli's principle is just one idea that has taken place. But we know that fluids are not ideal. So air is not an ideal fluid. It's a real fluid. And this is really just how physics is kind of exciting and different ideas need to be examined. And here we know this to be true in our blood. We know this to be true. We know that when the radius goes up, the pressure would go down. And we know that this isn't going to happen in our blood. And this is the whole idea. In case you were wondering, and this video was just because I had a close friend call and his name was Dan. He was kind of wondering what is going on. And maybe uh, this didn't come to, uh, come to you. You didn't really wonder about it. So this is just something interesting not very important to your biophysics course, more important to uh, maybe your self-wondering or curiosity. See you in the next video.